Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we are going to install Ubuntu on Windows 11 using WSL feature. First, we will enable the Windows subsystem for Linux and will try to install Ubuntu terminal. And therefore, we will also see how we can install Ubuntu in a graphical way. Let's go to the Windows 11 and get started. So right now we are on our Windows 11 machine and if we see WSL status, we get nothing because it is not installed right now and if we check with the WSL list online you will get the list for the available distribution this is the default one with the star Ubuntu will be installed in the default way if we do the WSL install so if we go and check the prerequisites you must be running Windows 10 version 2004 and high and this is the build number if we see the version of our windows you can see I am using windows 11 and this is the build version and if we do this command WSL install this command will enable the feature necessary to run WSL and will install the Ubuntu distribution by default so if we do this it will install the Ubuntu this is the version it will install by default so if we want to install this one we have to run a different command so let's see that if you want to install a different distribution you have to run this command wsl install hyphen d and the distribution name so let's try to copy this and we'll try to install a different version of ubuntu so let me copy it and let me remove this and I will type WSL install D and the version of distribution that is Ubuntu 24.04 it requires the elevation so let me quickly close this and open it in an elevated PowerShell so you can see installing virtual machine platform and it has been installed and now it is installing Windows subsystem for Linux if we go and check with the appvis.cpl you can do this in a graphical way as well by turn windows feature on or off and you can scroll down to the this virtual machine platform it has been installed and right now it is installing windows subsystem for linux so you can enable this from here as well so let me cancel this and it is installing right now and it has been installed and now it is installing ubuntu 24.04 so let's wait for the installation so it is completed now and it is asking to restart the machine so we have restarted the machine and you can see the Ubuntu is already installed launching Ubuntu so now we have to put the username and password for this Ubuntu machine so let me put the username as Vic and I will enter my password so once we have entered the password it says installation successful and you are logged in to the terminal of Ubuntu and if we see ls right now there is nothing and if we do IPA you can see the IP address of my Ubuntu machine and if we see the lsblk it's showing us the hard drive so now let's try to update this by sudo apt-get update and it's asking for the password let me put the password here and now you can see our Ubuntu is updating so it is done if we launch this Ubuntu you can see we can go directly to the terminal and if we see the version of WSL you can see Ubuntu is running the WSL version is 2 here and if you want to update it you can type WSL update and you can see it is already installed on our machine so we have to run this command if we have to go for the graphical user interface again it's required the elevated so I will run this in an elevated PowerShell it is deploying image servicing and management tool it is enabled and we have to run this commandlet for the like feature name virtual machine platform it also has been installed now so this will help you to install the graphical user interface for the Linux if we see the release of our Ubuntu the distribution ID and the description and the release is 24.04 I will run this commandlet 
sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade so i am upgrading my ubuntu it is upgrading and it is done now so let me clear the screen now i will type sudo apt install xrdp for the remote desktop protocol so i will type yes and it is installed and now i will type the command let sudo apt install y xfce4 so this will install the required packages it is installing and now i will install the goodies here so it is also installing now so it is installed you have to edit this file like etc xrdp and here you can see i have commented these two lines in your case it will not be commented you have to comment these two line and then type this start x f c e4 here without comments and then save this file once you are done you can check the service status of the xrdp and if you want to start it you can run this command let and you can see the xrdp services started so now we can go and check with the remote desktop if i go and check with the ip address you can see the ip address of my machine is this 172.24.48.237 i will copy it here and i will try to do the rdp so you can see we are getting the rdp let me log in with my credential you can see we are on to the ubuntu desktop so if we try to log out from here we can just click on log out and you will be logged out so i am back into the machine if you see the terminal it's not opening right now so in order to install the terminal you have to run this command let xfce4 terminal and now it is installed and if we go and check back with the application finder i will check the terminal and i will see the this terminal xfce terminal so now you can see it is open and i will make it default as well so in order to run the browser i am trying to install the firefox on it and you can see the firefox is installed if i go and check with the application finder you can see the firefox is there and if i try to launch it i will launch it and you can see the firefox is there same way i have also installed the chrome as well here so if i select for the chrome you can see the chrome is there and from here as well you can go to the internet and if you want to open the chrome you can open it from here as well so chrome is there and mozilla firefox is also there i make the this terminal as default so the terminal is working chrome is working and mozilla firefox is also working so this way you can configure your ubuntu on your windows 11 machine I hope the video was useful. Let's meet in a next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.